Ladies and gentlemen, the beautiful Sarah McLaughlin. I've received a ton of awards. I think my induction is, if not the most important one, one of the most important ones. Thank you so much. Because I am deeply, proudly Canadian. I am grateful for this amazing life and career that I have been so blessed to have. So to all of you who have given me so much, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Hi there, I'm Sarah McLaughlin, and this is my Juno's Moment. I've received a ton of awards. I was so young when I received so many of them where it's just like I didn't feel like I deserved it and it took the Hall of Fame night was like, no, you know what? I deserve this. I'm gonna own this moment. I'm gonna enjoy the hell out of it. Thank you. And I did and it felt so good. <laughs> This is a, a great privilege, and I'm so honored and humbled to be in such amazing company. I think I was pretty nervous about getting up there. I'm, I'm not good at public speaking. I was actually quite proud of that speech because I, I spent a lot of time and a lot of energy, and I wanted to get it right. I felt like it was a really important moment. Because of music, my life has deeper meaning and a powerful sense of purpose. And I felt really good saying it all. I meant every word of it, and I think owning that and feeling and really truly feeling the things that I was saying and believing them felt really good as well. Um, so I think I was, I was excited to be going up there but definitely nervous to speak publicly because even though I can sing in front of thousands of people, speaking is a, a totally different ball game. I'm grateful for the luck of geography, being born in a country where the rights of girls and women are respected. Where people of all ethnicities, gender and sexual identities can stand together as one. We're far from perfect, but we have a lot to offer the world and we must continue to set the bar high. It felt really, really amazing. Uh, and honestly, it does every time I walk on stage or every time I perform a song that resonates powerfully with people or moves them to the point where they want to stand up and cheer. It feels incredible. It's a really positive, beautiful energy. I have the best job in the world and I have so much to be thankful for. It was amazing to have my daughters there. I just wanted to show them that, you know, this, this is who I am, this is what I do outside of being mom. And to my greatest gifts, my smart, fierce, beautiful daughters who keep me grounded and humble me every day. And to show them that it's like, I'm doing something that I absolutely love and it feeds me and it's like, just that idea of, you know, as a, as a young woman, Choose something that gives you a sense of purpose. We're living in scary times, and I know that it's naive to suggest that all we need is love, but I know as humans we're capable of creating great beauty and great violence, and we need to remember to hold on to our light, our goodness, and strive to choose integrity and love over division and hatred. It's not about the money, it's not about the fame, it's about feeling purposeful and feeling that you have value and that you have something to give and when you offer that to the world, you get back exponentially. So I am immensely proud to stand here tonight and say that I am Canadian. And I am grateful for this amazing life and career that I have been so blessed to have. So to all of you. It makes me, it makes me feel so good. It makes me feel loved. I mean, we all want to feel love and acceptance and it feels wonderful. It was just kind of like, I can't believe this is my life. There's a lot of those moments. <laughs> I still can't believe this is my life sometimes. <laughs> I am normal. I'm a, I'm a screwed up human being, just like everybody else, muddling through trying to get it as right as I can um, and hoping for the best. So thank you, but don't put me on a pedestal. <laughs>